calm down before you stress oh boy. Here we are. Super small dude with a super big lens. This thing. Basically a year ago to this day, I purchased my Vazen 40 millimeter to use with my original Zcam E2. I had all these hopes and dreams of shooting music videos and weddings and commercial gigs and creative projects and short films everything under the sun with it because I wanted to be unique. And then the pandemic hit. I had just purchased a $3,000 lens only for it to collect dust. I still had the chance to use it on some paying gigs and it did make me a better filmmaker. So let me talk about the bad stuff first. One, it's really expensive. It's really hard to justify for me the price of a $3,000 lens as an individual owning a company where I get friends to help me out on my productions because I don't get enough to hire full-time production assistants or employees. Number two, it's super freaking heavy. I think that this setup, this has to be like 15 pounds-ish around there. I'm a super small guy. I'm like 5'8 and you could probably lift me with your pinky finger. So it's kind of hard to use, but this is why it made me a better filmmaker. The way that the Vazen renders depth and colors and light is a lot different from a spherical lens. And so it helps me kind of pay attention to things that I had never looked at before in terms of light and color and composition. 99% of the time I was always handheld with it. I learned how to handle handheld footage better. Now you may be saying, but wait, the Vazen is from Micro Four Thirds cameras. Why are you putting it on a super 35 millimeter like the S6? Well, the S6 has interchangeable mounts. So I put a Micro Four Thirds lens mount on my E2 S6 and the Vazen actually covers almost the entirety of the super 35 millimeter sensor. Now, moving on to the greatest things about it. It did set me apart from, I guess the Hayden before I got it. Even though I love the lens and I don't have much bad to say about it, I may have to get rid of it for some time because the pandemic made it hard on my business like many others. It's hard to justify a $3,000 lens when you're not really getting a whole lot of work in, but it makes it even harder when a client doesn't see the difference from an anamorphic to a spherical. Now maybe subconsciously or deep down, they do see it and they're like, wow, that looks really good. I don't think it would have made a difference if I shot what you're seeing now on a spherical lens and delivered it to my client. I don't think it would have made more money or less. Going on from here, I have to really weigh my pros and cons of should I keep it or should I sell it and put my money elsewhere for now. In the future, I hope that I can still have it. Um, I'd love to explore other anamorphic lenses like Vazen's full frame lenses because I would love to, where is it? I would love to see what it looks like on a Sony a7S III. I would love to see what the, the full frame lenses would look like on maybe an F6. Um, I don't know, I'm just super excited with where Anamorphic is going right now. We've got Suray coming out with some cool stuff. There's adapters from Aviscope and then you've got plenty of other old school adapters that are just as great. This has introduced me into the world of Anamorphic. This has introduced me into becoming a better filmmaker. This has introduced me to learning how to storytell in a different way when it comes to visual composition. And it's just kind of made me a more creative person. It's inspired me, it's motivated me, especially during a time of the pandemic and losing inspiration and finding it hard to get that drive. I'm a big gearhead and this really kept me going. I wanted to create other things. So I went out with friends and, and just shot, even if it didn't make me money. There you go too. I hope you get your hands on an anamorphic one sometime, maybe the Vazen, learn some new things that you never thought you could do, become a better filmmaker, become better at handheld, become better at composition. I highly advise trying it, rent it if that makes more sense. It'll be so worth it. I'll see you on the next one.
Come on. Hear it. Dude. Here, let me initiate that. 